the only one and only goal for this project. The only reason why I'm here is to have fun with friends. <laughs> How you guys doing? Devin from Boost and Performance. Uh, we brought Red Demon. This is actually version two. Uh, version one we ran for many, many years. Held a couple different records with the car. We were very successful. We've won Texas 2K, uh, FL 2K, um, shootout in Ohio. The reason for the new build is because the old build, we actually crashed the car in Bradington in a private uh, test session and uh, to fix the car just wasn't worth it. So it would have been more money, more time to fix the car versus just building another one. So um, initially I wasn't gonna do it, but I guess it's just, I don't know, it's a disease or something. Yeah, yeah it's a disease. What was the best time for the V1? Uh, the car went 7.0 and the best mile an hour was 215.8. Uh, this build, it, the, the basics are, it's a bullet, uh, billet block. Uh, that we build in house with some proprietary pistons and rods that we make. Um, it's a precision 88 millimeter turbocharger. They actually went above and beyond for me and actually worked out some, something custom. So something that can make the power of an 88 but still uh, be spooled by a four cylinder that's going through the gears, you know what I mean? With actually big RPM drops. So it's not like a sequential where I'm hitting five or six gears. You know, so the, the technology that Precision has given me with this turbocharger, that's what's allowed me to go, you know, as fast and as, as uh, quick as, you know, I have. gear set very basic I mean it's a full Mitsubishi drivetrain uh, the everything is in the configuration that the car came from the factory with you know the, it came from uh, uh, the plant uh, from Eagle from Mitsubishi um, it's got a Mitsubishi rear end Mitsubishi transfer case Mitsubishi transmission PPG gear set um, you know 4G63 engine there's no there's no kind of swap in this car there's not like a TH400 swap or you know we converted it to rear drive this is literally in the factory configuration unibody um, all-wheel drive in terms of suspension and tire setup yeah so we run a 10 inch wide tire in the front that's been an improvement with V2 versus V1 and we're in the process of making some billet rear spindles okay. to allow us to put a 10 inch tire in the back <laughs> goal for this project and it even held true when building the car I didn't stress out over getting the car ready quick or getting it together for some reason the only reason why I'm here is to have fun with friends okay. so I mean over the years you know I really pushed v1 to go sixes you know what I mean and it became so much about the goal and not so much about how you get there and it's way more important how you get there than what you actually achieve so I'm focusing on that. We're having a ton of fun. Uh, we had the best trip we ever had in two weeks ago in Florida. I mean, it's it's been great. So the car's made, that was the sixth full pass that I've made with the car. Okay. I made five in Florida and it went 720, uh, 205. Okay. So I mean, there's a lot left in the car. We're still learning it. Um, I'm pretty pretty sure that we can put a big mile an hour on the board this weekend, because it's easy to jam power in it down track. But the short track and getting it to go sixes, that's gonna take a little bit of time. We're still ironing out the new chassis, the suspension changes, all that. So. <laughs> I 
I mean, uh, the car weighs just shy of 2,500 pounds with me in it. And it's been, uh, the old car was 215. The best mile an hour on this car is 212. But like I said, I mean, we haven't run it at full power yet. Um, if you go by that weight and that mile an hour, 1600, 1800, somewhere in there. All right. Thank you, man. All right, brother. Good luck and have a fun weekend. I will.